Scientific genius Sir George Cayley pioneered man flight in an era before powered flight was technically possible, long before the Wright brothers' successes. In 1853, he invented a glider capable of bearing a man aloft, and later theorized about using a hot air motor as a power source. His surviving documentation has enabled two replica gliders to be built and flown. Fast forward and the R-71 Blackbird is still the fastest plane that has ever flown. The plane also served an important role in history as a spy plane. Its first test flight was on December 22, 1964, and was never once hit by a missile during its 25 years of service. Pilot Richard Graham had this to say, It was extremely quiet inside the cockpit. You could hear a pin drop. The view is spectacular being able to see the curvature of the Earth and the black space above filled with stars. Because this aircraft was way ahead of its time, many new technologies had to be invented specifically for this project, some still in use today. One of the biggest problems engineers faced at the time was working with titanium. Kelly Johnson said the following, We produced 6,000 parts and of them fewer than 10% were any good. The material was so brittle that if you dropped a piece on the floor, it would shatter. Boeing has officially unveiled a successor to the legendary Blackbird SR-71 spy plane, capable of travelling at five times the speed of sound. The new son of Blackbird was revealed at an event in Orlando, Florida, but it's only a concept design for now. The new aircraft will be a direct competitor to Lockheed Martin's upcoming SR-72. These rival firms are racing to create a hypersonic aircraft that's capable of stealthy recon assignments, and strike missions too. Speaking to Aviation Week Aerospace Daily, Boeing's hypersonics chief described how Boeing was planning a two-step development process for the new warplane. The first stage would involve flight tests of an F-16-sized single-engine precursor vehicle that acts as a proof of concept. The second stage is the creation of a twin-engine full-scale operation vehicle that roughly has similar dimensions to the 107-foot-long SR-71. Boeing's end goal is an aircraft that can travel at five times the speed of sound. The son of Blackbird speed would be around 3,836 miles per hour. For comparison, a Boeing 747 passenger jet typically reaches cruising speeds of just 549 miles per hour. The tricky part is that the SR-71 replacement needs to be able to take off, accelerate, slow down and land on its own just like the original 1964 model. Boeing is looking at using a conventional turbojet to hit Mark III, then switching to a different configuration to boost beyond Mark V. Sadly, there's no guarantee when Boeing will have a sky-ready model. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.